here you love the Kangen machine after next session? Did you guys get a lot, get a lot of clarity? Yes. Is the Kangen machine so powerful? Yes. All right. But again, remember what I talk about. Even the machine is so powerful, but if we do the business the wrong way, and if we only talk about machine, 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 you're also not going to... Remember this one? Yes. Yes. You're still going to do this, yeah? Now, for this next... Oh, yeah, clicker. Thank you. All right. So this next session, who here you're excited for the M guard by a show of hands? Do you know why I'm so excited? I'm so excited because M guard would how how would it be if the Kangen machine was launched in Philippines first before the rest of the world? How would it how would it be different for you? Crazy, right? Twenty years ago, forty years ago, right? You have this opportunity now with M guard because now M guard is currently being sold um, in Malaysia, and they just launched Singapore October. Uh, 2nd of October. That was a soft launch and they're having a, they had a, they call it the official launch on the 7th. So they are just starting off in Singapore and they're getting a lot of sales. And I heard, now all these things we have to get back to the office, all right? Mr. Will just came by, we had a nice chat. Uh, uh, can we give him a big round of applause again, gentlemen? All right, Mr. Will's there. So heading the Enagic Philippines branch. So all these, we have to wait for updates from the office. My job here today is to share with you what I see in MGAD and why I believe MGAD is Enagic 2.0. MGAD is Enagic 2.0. If you have somehow missed the boat, if you felt like you missed the boat in Kangen, you cannot afford to miss the MGAD boat. After you have, you, you, I have about 30 minutes to talk about this, and after you experience this, you're going to love the M Guard. Are you guys ready? Yes. So I'm going to share with you how powerful this product is. Introducing Enagic Japan's latest patented. Now, by the way, this is the first session on M Guard in the entire Philippines. Pre-launch, yeah? yeah? Are you guys are you guys feeling uh, are you guys feeling privileged? Yes. Yes. Are you guys feeling privileged? Yes. You know some of the leaders don't even get to see this, but you guys get to see this. Can we give a big round of applause to your leaders, Raymond and Diana, right? So, M Guard. Anybody know what EM stands for? Anybody? Anybody? Electromagnetic. So that's the, that's the, the meaning behind M guard. Yeah? Electromagnetic guard. Yeah? You know, I asked in Malaysia, do you know what EM means? Energic Malaysia. I'm like, huh? no, no, no. We are not that self centered. This is a global product. Right? So M stands for electromagnetic guard. Okay? Creating harmonious spaces around the world. Let me ask you guys a question. Who here you grew up like this, like me? You didn't have iPads. You didn't have phones. What do you have? What do you have last time when we grew up? Bottle caps, erasers. We play outdoors, right? Yes. We were more active. But today, how is the younger generation growing up? Have you experienced, you go to a restaurant, right? And whole family, everybody's just on their phone. Yes. The kids, they have the iPad right in their face, like this one. Right in their face. Do you think these things are good or damaging them? I believe everybody understands to a certain extent how bad radiation is, but a lot of us, we don't know in depth exactly how bad it is. And let me tell you this, I got to know about MGARD in May, April, a little bit earlier than the launch. And when I learned about the dangers of electromagnetic radiation, I got goosebumps. I didn't know it could be so bad. Yeah, I didn't know it could be so bad. So let me just share with you. A couple weeks ago, are you guys aware of this news? Anybody? In France, they actually halted the sales of iPhone 12 because of exceeding over radiation levels. Anybody using iPhone 12? Anybody? Oh, okay. No, don't have, huh? Do you have some friends using iPhone 12? 13. I'm using 11, okay? Now, this happened about a couple weeks ago. France, they actually hauled the iPhone 12 sales over radiation levels. Belgium is now following suit and they are trying to get Apple to recall all of their phones. What does that tell you? There is a harm. There is something that companies, governments don't want to talk about, right? Because if they say phones are so dangerous, do you think, pe do you think people will still buy the phones? They will stop buying, right? right? They'll, they'll get scared. Their sales will drop. All right, what if today, ladies and gentlemen, we know that we have devices around us emitting electromagnetic radiation. I'm going to use these three letters in my, in my presentation a lot. EMR. 
electromagnetic radiation. Are you guys following? Can we, can we repeat what EMR stands for? Electromagnetic radiation. Okay, this is the word we'll be using a lot in, in the MGAT business. What if today, after this workshop, ah, you relax, you go back home, you want to take, you want to relax, you want to watch television in your living room, but when you walk inside, this is all you see. You can see the visible radiation in your living room. Who here, you will not dare to walk inside this place by a show of hands, if you can see it. If today, before you walk in, there is just white lines, radiation, you can see. You wouldn't even dare to walk into this room, right? But what is the truth of the matter? The truth of the matter is, this is every single living room in the Philippines. This is every single office, every single hotel, every single place you go to. The only thing is, it is invisible. You cannot see it, but you are getting affected by it every single day. Yeah? Because it is invisible. So what are the typical EMR sources? Everybody has smartphones, right? Some of you have more than one. Who has more than one phone? Let me ask the men in the room. I'm going to ask the men in the room. Where do you put your phones? When you go out? Which pocket? Front pocket? Or back pocket? Front pocket, right? When you put your phone in your front pocket, where is it near? Adrian, I'm going to ask Adrian because he's laughing. I don't know why he's laughing. I didn't even say anything. What is it near to? Your reproductive organs, right? Do you know there is publications that shows EMR can reduce sperm counts? It has a direct effect on our organs, our reproductive organs. And you know some people, they, you know, the, 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 the people that wear suits, where do they like to put their phone? They like to put it here. Next to what? Next to their heart. So a lot of people, they are not aware. And I get crazy when I see some of my friends, you know, they sit in the, in the restaurant, where do they put their phone? They like to put it in between their legs. Yeah, in the car, they put it in between their legs, all right? So phones, laptops, sockets, microwaves, all right? Anybody use microwaves? I still do, yeah? Wi-Fi, um, air conditioning. Do you know air conditioning is a form of radiation? Yeah. And you have, you have a lot here, right? Television, and you know the high-tension wires? The cables? You have it right here. You have the electric cable, okay? So these are the typical EM radiation source. Now, radiation is a very big topic. So again, I like to keep things very simple. Now, when we talk about the wave of spectrum, there are two waves non-ionizing and ionizing. Ionizing means these kind of frequencies are very high, ultra-high frequencies like UV, X-ray, gamma ray. Even if you're exposed to it at a very short span of time, it can cause DNA mutation and even death. Right? We call it ionizing. Now, please do not mix ionizing radiation and ionized water. <laughs> you don't want ionizing radiation. Hey, ionize, I want ionized. No, no, you don't want ionized, okay? So it's different things, but because we're, we're all Kangen people, right? So ionizing is very dangerous, but the thing is we are not exposed to it regularly. What we are exposed to is something called non-ionizing, which means the lower band of frequency. But even when you talk about lower, 3 megahertz to 1000 megahertz, if you look at the data sheet of frequency, 3 megahertz above is already considered high to very high. But it's much lower than the ionizing. But it's already considered very high. When you talk about really low, it's like 50 hertz or 100 hertz. Do you know what is a hertz? A hertz, you know frequencies like this, right? So if the frequency is 1 hertz, it means in one second, it has one complete oscillation. Because frequency is like this, right? Now, if it's 50 hertz, it means in one second, it has 50 oscillation. That's considered low. Do you know tr what 3 megahertz means? 3 megahertz means 3 million hertz. Mega is million, not thousand. Thousand is K. 3KHZ. K is thousand. Mega is million. Which means even 3 megahertz is one second, 3 million oscillations. It's considered very high. Yeah? But these are 3 megahertz all the way to 1,000. These are what we call non-ionizing, which is being emitted from the most typical electronic devices in the market. All right? And we're exposed to it every single day. Now, why do we talk about this? And why is the non-ionizing also very dangerous in the long term? Now, engineers would know the FCC. FCC stands for Federal Communication Commission. So any electronics, you know, any phone devices in the US have to pass through FCC 
uh, testing. Now, based on their exposure limit, they say the human body absorbs radio frequency, yeah, RF, energy at some frequencies more effectively than others. At the range of, can you guys read what is the range? 30 to 300. Can you see that 30 to 300, it sits between the non-ionizing, am I right? Somewhere here, right? That is where the body absorbs the most. Because there are certain frequencies, when it's too low, the skin blocks it. No harm. When it's higher, the skin also blocks it. But there is this Goldilocks range where the skin actually absorbs it and it goes into the body, which is 30 to 300. Such energy of EM waves can cause damage to cells, DNA, leading to an increased risk of cancer, mutation, and also other health problems. Yeah, 30 to 300. Now, this is the FCC report. And by the way, it's not a new report, yeah? It was published in 1997. Yeah, 20 over years ago, right? So it's been around for a long time. That's where they talk about it. I've just made it into a more interesting uh, animation, right? But the report is very long. You may read it in your free time. And this is something that I, I do in Malaysia. Um, there is a, a consumer association. Penang is one of our states, you know? It's like one of our states. So there is this guide uh, written by the CAP years ago. You will know it's years ago by the, by the pictures they use, right? This one, you know, you know this, this book is at least 20 years old, at least, right? And they talk about low-level radiation, the invisible killer, growing threat from electromagnetic fields. Yeah, growing threat from electromagnetic fields, low-level radiation. What is the reason the body absorbs 30 to 300 megahertz the most? Because our body's organs is within that range. Our heart, you know, our liver, our pancreas, our brain. Now, the normal human brain has about 72 megahertz. If you're a genius, your brain frequency is higher at 90. The typical heart frequency liver, they're all between 50 to 90. 50 to 90, is it in between 30 to 300? That's the reason why the body absorbs that range the most because it is the frequency of our body. Now, what happens when you have devices, example, your iPhone, your, all these EM radiation source, that emits these kind of frequencies. What's going to happen? It's going to cause something called vibration of our cells. They call it the resonance theory. Now, when you go into your car, you want to tune to the radio stations. What do you do? You tune, right? 192.9, whatever, right? That is to catch the frequency, right? To catch the resonance. But when that thing happens to you from your phones, it vibrates your cells. Now, I'm going to share with you how does it look like. If you can see a physicist here, oh Diana, if you may help me, can you just help me pause the video? Is it possible? Or just rewind the whole thing? Yeah, just rewind the whole thing. So what he has done here is, he's using a 512 hertz tuning fork. Anybody seen this fork before? Yes. Or the science lab, physics lab, they have it. Now this is of a different frequency of this, right? This is 512, this is 440. They, took, they put two ping pong balls here. Now when he hits the 512 hertz, because it's of a different frequency range, Diana, Thank you so much. He hits it, nothing happens to the other fork because it's different frequency. But the moment, thank you so much, yep. The moment he changes it to a fork with the same frequency. All right, what happened? It vibrates, right? Because it's oscillating in the same frequency. So imagine if the things that are surrounding us has the similar frequency onto our body, our eyes, our brain, our blood, what, what's going to happen? Vibration. I'm going to share with you what is the health challenges you will face when you have vibration of your cells and your tissues. And how do we use to test? We use something called a detector. Anybody seen this detector before? I think uh, Raymond and I, they have one right here. Now the MGUD is on, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Do you know the MGUD was on all the while? You got, some of you don't even know, right? I'm going to turn it off for a while for the purpose of this demo. This is the radiation detector. Now, once um, the MGUD is launched in the Philippines, this will also be sold in the office itself. Yeah, this detector. Because when you turn on this detector, you're able to measure the electromagnetic radiation interference in the room. Oh, this is so weird. Even without any phones, if I come just right here, it is already showing readings oh my god where is it coming out from the cable right so it would detect but when you go to an area 
where there's no interference or radiation, it could drop to zero. It depends where you point the ring. Yeah? Now, I'm going to go into this in a while and show you guys how it works. That is the detector. Okay? I'm going to explain what the detector measures. Now, a lot of people say, hey, radiation, is it even that dangerous? I will share with them this. I said the World Health Organization back in 2011 has already classified radio frequency electromagnetic field as possibly carcinogenic to humans. It is cancer causing. Yeah? So when people say that it's not dangerous, it's not true. They have already proven that it is dangerous. And even people that use iPhone, anybody have anybody use iPhones? Anybody use iPhones? Okay, let's do an exercise together. Diana, is that an iPhone? Yeah. Can I just borrow, yeah? Can we all go to our settings? Those who are using iPhone, yeah? If you're using other brands, they will normally put this on their website, but iPhone, they put it in their phone itself. Go to settings and you go to general. Are you guys there? Go to general, okay? And when you're in general, scroll all the way down, you will see something called legal and regulatory. Can you see that? Do you see it? Yeah? Press on legal and regulatory, and then you will see something called RF exposure. Am I right? Press on RF exposure. You can read this. Thank you, Diana. We can read this later on, but what you will see is exactly what you're seeing on the screen. Even Apple themselves tells you to reduce exposure to RF energy, use hands-free such as speakerphone, headphone, or other similar accessories. What, that, what does that mean? If you get a headache, if you get migraine, if you get any issues using the phone too much, you cannot go back to Apple and say that your device has caused me this. They have already put it in their legal and regulatory to tell you to use speakerphone and to reduce RF exposure. So what is this? I call it the exclusion clause, right? So if anything happens to you, it is not their problem. It is your problem. So they even recognize the danger of RF. So how does EM radiation affect our health? That's where I will start to use this detector. Okay, the camera is rolling, right? So I will, I will bring it to the camera later on. Now this detector would show you readings anywhere from zero all the way up to 1999. When it passes 1999 microwatts, it will become overloaded and it will only show a reading of one. That's how this detector works. Now, what is this detector measuring? It is measuring the microwatts. What is microwatts? The power density of the EMR. So we know there are many frequencies, right, floating around in this environment. But what is the power density? Is it 200 microwatts? Is it 1,000, 1,005, or is it more than 1,005? We can find that out. I need some assistance. Can I get Adrian? To, can, can you help me? Let's give a big round of applause to Adrian. So Adrian, you're just using a, a normal smartphone, right? Yeah. Okay, I just have, have your phone. So I'm gonna take this detector, I'm gonna turn it on, okay? Uh, Adrian, so just uh, probably just turn on the screen. Okay, face it to the crowd, your iPhone. So it's a normal phone. But once I turn on the, the detector and I put it near to the phone, what do you see on the screen? What does one mean? It's overloaded. Means it is above 2,000 microwatts of power. All right? Now, it's not just for Adrian's phone. Let's test Rick's phone. Rick, what is the number you see here? One. One as well. Means it is above 2,000 microwatts. Yeah, thank you so much, Adrian. Let's give him a big round of applause. All right. Now, according to this chart, anything that is above 200, 1,000 is already considered dangerous, very dangerous, and a health hazard. And what are the symptoms of long exposure? The keyword is long exposure. Yeah. And how many hours do we spend with our phones every day? Countless. Three hours. You know, there's an app on Apple that you can track how many hours you're using. I don't consider myself glued to my phone. My daily average is about six hours. Six hours means the phone is on, it's active. It's either playing music, receiving messages, and you are using it. Six hours. I'm not somebody that is glued to the phone. And what are the long-term exposures? Body pain, concentration problem, brain cancer, heart problem, infertility, fatigue, headache, eye soreness, immune system, sleeping problem. Anybody charge their phone in their rooms? Next to their bed? Who here, who here, you don't really have very good quality sleep? You, you wake up, you know, throughout the night. Why do you think so? It's because there are waves in your room that is affecting the sleep pattern. 
For people to truly achieve deep sleep, or they call it REM sleep, you need to be in an environment where there's no interference in the EMR. All right? Stress and anxiety. A lot of people develop stress and anxiety. It could be also causing from frequencies. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to turn on the MGUD. Again, can I just invite Adrian again? Thank you so much. I want Adrian now to be the demo person. So Adrian, what I want you to do now is turn on your phone exactly the same way you did it. So hold it in front. And now I want you to also hold the detector on your other hand. Now turn it on. Go very near to your phone. Make sure the screen is on. One, right? So what I'm going to do now is Raymond's going to help us to turn on the M guard. One, two, and three. What happened? What happened? What happened to the detector? Zero. Zero. Just now there was also radiation here, right? Yeah. What is the reading? What is the reading? reading. Rick's phone? Zero. 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 Are you guys seeing, what, seeing this? Yeah, yeah. Who here you already want to own one M guard? Yeah. Will, application form. Yes. Okay. Are you guys amazed? Yes. When I saw this, I was like, oh my God. Thank you so much, Raymond, for your help. Can you see this? Again, if you're able to show this to the 120 million people out there, are you going to have a massive business? Yes. yes. Do you think a lot of people are concerned on EMR? Yes. They are. And if you're able to show this to them, you're going to have a massive business, ladies and gentlemen. Sir Will. Sir Will, when are we going to have it? Sir Will, when are we going to have it? <laughs> All right, I, I think Will is doing his level best. He's very excited with MGAD. And thanks, thanks to the support of him, you know, I'm able to come here and, and to share with you guys. And he's like, Simon, we just love this and we can't wait for you to be here. Do you guys like the MGAD so far? Yes. And that is the demo, yeah? That, that, that is it. That's it. You know what I like about it? You know, sometimes when we're in the Kangen business, the, you have to take the tomato, you take the, the Sprite, you know, my ORP meter, oh, it's not calibrated, you know, you know, pH tester. This one, everywhere I go, MGAD in the back, I have a power bank because sometimes you may not find a socket, right? Power bank, and I have the detector. And when I sit down with a customer, I say, wait, 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 before you talk, wait, let me, let me turn on my MGAD first. Okay, we can talk now. Hey, what is that? What are you doing? I said, huh? This is my company later invention. I am protecting you and the people around me from electromagnetic radiation. Show me what is it all about. T -t 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 -t. Turn on the MGUD. No more T -t -t -t. Give me one. <laughs> How long was the process? <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Give me two. Give me two. <laughs> yeah? Powerful, right? So EMR and live blood analysis, the entire MGUD technology was built behind the research of Dr. Magda Harvest. She's a very important figure uh, uh, for, for MGAD uh, uh, in this regard because she's the person that started a lot of research on areas of environmental and health effects of electromagnetic pollution. She calls it electrosmoke. To her, EMR is a real pollution. And why is it scary? Because people cannot smell it, touch it, or see it. At least when the air is bad, you can smell it, you can see it. When the water is bad, you have the kangen machine, you can taste it, you can feel it. But interferences, you cannot even see it. But you can feel it. Headache, all these kind of things, right? So she, her work focuses on the biological effects of EMR and what she has found out in her research, healthy red blood cell environment in a clean EMR environment. Let me ask you this question. When your red blood cells are stacking and stacking and stacking, is the oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange higher or lower? lower? It's lower. So that will lead to poor circulation, low oxygen transport. Who here, when you use your phone for some time, you get numbness and tingling on your fingers? Yeah, you feel it, right? What is, what is that? It is the rouleau formation in your hands. Your blood cells are stacking together. Who here, after you, pick, you, you talk on the phone for some time, you get heating here? What do you do after that? What do you do when, when this ear is hot? You switch to the other ear, right? Yes. So you know, I like to eat, I like to eat uh, Wayu steaks. You know, when you make the steak, you have to make sure it's medium rare. So what you're actually doing is, you are cooking this part of your brain, and when this is already cooked, it's nicely seared, you go and sear the other side. That's what EMR does to you. It's like a nice piece of steak, and you're doing it every day. 
I didn't even know about it. I talked to people on the phone. Now, who, who anybody use AirPods wireless? I stopped using it, I go back to cable. Yeah, because wireless, high EMR, okay? Now, what, I have, what we have done is, you see, it's been in Malaysia for the last five months. We got so interested. You have to understand that we are the first market, and now Philippines, you guys are the first few markets to get to know about this. So we got very excited. We start to do blood tests. We, 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 we talk to doctors. Now, this blood test is uh, done by one of my downlines. We went to a clinic in Malaysia. It's called the Sky Clinic. It's just next to our Twin Towers. Anybody know Twin Towers? It's just next to it. And it's a good friend, a doctor's a good friend. So we asked the doctor, his name is Dr. Roland, whether he can help us do a blood test. We wanted to find out how the MGUD works, but more importantly, we wanted to find out how bad EMR actually is. So what we got is my downline, he's in his 60s. This is 20 minutes of mobile phone usage before MGUD, his live blood analysis done in Malaysia. This was done maybe a month and a half ago. Can you take a look at this? It's all stacked up. Now, what we have done later is we told him to continue to use the phone for the next 20 minutes, but with the MGUD turned on. Because MGUD is supposed to suppress the radiation. You should see a difference, right? So we wanted to find out, we ourselves wanted to find out whether this technology is so powerful. Take a look at the, the after results. Continue 20 minutes of mobile phone usage after MGUD turned on the blood started to break up, free-flowing again. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Everybody was amazed. Even the doctor was like, what? <laughs> the doctor now, he owns an MGUD. <laughs> because of this. Because of this. We asked him as a favor, can you help us do this analysis? Right? He said, okay. MGUD, okay. After that, he bought his own MGUD. And now he's using it. In his clinic, he's standing right there in his clinic. Okay? So it's very, very powerful. And you can also do this when the MGUD is here. You know, all these kind of blood test machine is very cheap. You can buy it, you know, something like that. Okay? So that is on the blood circulation. There are two parts of our body with a lot of micro blood circulation. The first one is our fingertips. Right? The second one is our eyes. Now, eyeballs, we have a lot of micro circulation. This is so powerful. If you know people out there that have eye problems, you know, astic, dry eyes, and all that, okay? This is an experiment done by Dr. Liu Renjie from Taiwan, okay? What he has done is, he has actually done a testing on the effect of EMR on people's blood circulation of their eyeball. If the eyeball blood circulation is low, do you think the health is good or bad? It's bad, yeah? A lot of people ask me, how come? How come it can be even higher than the first stage? Very simple. Is the phone the only EMR source in your life? When you walk into a room like this, you have cables, you have air conditioning, you have wiring, you have TV, you have air, so many things. Your car that is contributing to EMR, right? The phone is not the only source. So you can see that the blood circulation actually went all the way up to 25.9 cm per second. Documented by ophthalmologists in Taiwan. Powerful? Powerful. Again, documentation beats conversation, right? We show them this. So, ladies and gentlemen, environment harmonizer, the MGUD, creating harmonious spaces around the world. Do you like, do you like it so far? Yes. Are you excited for it? Yes. All right. So, Will, are you excited for it? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay. So, the MGUD. Now, it's a harmonizer, it's a defender, it's a low maintenance. How do you think Raymond set this up in the morning? He just needed to have the power supply, plug it, turn on, that's it. That's it. That's it. You just plug it into a power supply and you leave it and you just leave it on and it would have a lifespan of minimum of five years or more. Yeah, lifespan. Okay? Now, a lot of people ask me on the coverage, so how far does MGUD cover me? This is a guarantee by Enagic that MGUD will cover you eight meters. Eight meters of defense. And the defense is a sphere. It is a sphere defense, which means it covers sometimes even the second floor or the floor. So when you put this MGA in your home, try to put, if you have a second floor, if you have the second floor, try to put it at a higher area in your ground floor so that it also covers the second floor. Are you guys following? Because it is eight meters like a sphere. Correct. All right? So you cut, but normally uh, houses, you would require more than one. Good news or bad news? Good news. Good news! Because 
Now you don't sell one MVR, you sell two, you sell three. And let me touch a little bit on the business side. Every M guard, every M guard, you can sell 50 M guards and become a 5A distributor. Now, let's say one home buys two or three M guards, you are talking about 15 customers to get you to 5A. Is that exciting? Exciting. Very exciting. What's your rank? Dash two. Dash two. Dash two. You can help a lot of your downlines to become 5A. And would you agree with me, the hardest part of the Enagic business is from 1A to 5A. If you can get past the 1A to 5A, you're going to be a 6A. Yeah? yeah? So this is amazing. Yeah? So in middle of defense. So now this one, I need you guys to pay a lot of attention because this is how the technology works. In a typical radiation source, it requires a pathway for the power density to come to you. Remember the detector? It measures the power density. Now, the phone, it requires a pathway. So the frequency is the carrier of the power density. I'm going to repeat that again. The frequency is the carrier of the power density. It is the power density that affects your eyes, your blood, and your body. Now, it requires a pathway. When the M guard is turned on, what it does is the technology uses something called harmonics frequency. I love the word. Harmonics frequency or cancellation frequency to break the pathway of the EMR. Imagine you have a highway filled with cars. The highway is the frequency band. The cars are the power density. In order for the power density to go, you must have a pathway. What I'm doing now is I'm slicing the, 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 the highway into a few pieces. Can the car go over or they are stuck? They are stuck. That's what the MGUD technology is designed to do. And it is patented. Patented means, outside of Enagic, through our research, there is not a single company out there that knows how to do this. And there's not a single company out there that you can demo how their anti-radiation device work. Anybody seen some stickers, you know, anti-radiation? Most of these things, you just have to believe what they say on their brochure. There is no way of demo. In Enagic, we believe no demo, no sales. MGAR is the only, I repeat myself, the only product in the market that we have found out so far that is able to show using a detector that it suppresses the radiation. Only one. Are you guys, are you guys excited? Yes. That Enagic has taken on this project to help more Enagic distributors to go up to the ranks. That's how I see it, yeah? So MGAR is breaking the pathway, and basically when the pathway is broken, it does not have a frequency band to move anymore, it is stuck, yeah? That's why when I put in the detector onto the phone, just now Adrian helped me out, when the MGAR is turned on, it shows the number zero. Means the power density is not getting to you. And this is also shown in their compliance testing in the lab. On the left is the normal EM radiation source. They use a phone or a laptop, they didn't specify in the report and it can measure the EMR. The second one is when the MGUD is turned on. Can you guys see what it does to the frequency? It cuts it. Now, energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be diverted. That's what it actually does. That's how the MGUD is able to protect you and your family right, from the harm of radiation. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new tagline of Enagic for MGUD. What is the tagline for Kangen Water? Change your water, change your life. For MGAD, it is change your environment, change your life. That is the MGAD. And the retail price, now in terms of the price here in pesos, Sir Will and the Enagic Philippines uh, uh, team will decide. But the sales value that they have put on the MGAD is US $1,480. In pesos, it is approximately how much? Approximately, yeah? Let's say 75,000, yeah? But the, the official price is to be determined by the office, okay? Now, 75K, is it easy to enroll a distributor now? Yes. 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 Definitely. yes. Definitely. If you want 75K, you have to take the SD501, you have to slice it by half, give them only half, and then you keep the other half. But now donate. Now they can start with MGAR. And let me share with you my short experience on MGAR because I'm running out of time. I've built new teams in Malaysia with MGAR. In fact, our team, 
Um, in, in Malaysia, we are the top three team selling M guards in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah myself, Mingwei, and you know, and our team. So we are top three. We have sold over 100 plus M guards in the last couple months. And let me tell you this: people, there are many people that join the business with M guard. And what happened after that? They also buy the Kangen machine. All of them. Not 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 majority, yeah. All of them. They also bought the Kangen machine and they also bought the Ukon. I believe that we, if we're in an Enagic business, we must promote all of Enagic's products. But how I see the MGUD is, number one, lower entry for distributors. Number two, new in the market. Nobody can do this. And number three, you have a 49-year-old, $8 billion turnover company to take on this project. So that's how I look at the MGUD. And I believe, how many sales is uh, Philippines doing? Kangen machine a month? Ukon, but 300 plus, 360, with MGUD, I believe, I believe, conservatively, 1,000 machines a month. Yes. I believe so, conservatively. If I'm not being conservative, two to 3,000 a month yes. in the next one year to come. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Sir Will, <laughs> everything is Sir Will. So guys, when MGUD finally launches here, now, I, I don't speak on behalf of the company. Yeah? I'm here just to show you guys the technology. But I know that they are planning for the Philippines. I know they want to launch it in the Philippines. It's a matter of time. So I urge you to get ready for the Enagic 2.0. I urge you to get ready with all the knowledge, all the confidence, build up yourself. And when it launches, you move like a train. Do not be those distributors that launch first, then learn. You are slow already. Before MGUT launched, I have already studied everything. And when it launched, I'm just getting the people to buy. No need demo. I already talked. Just buy. Just buy. Just buy. All right, so get ready. We are very excited. And MGUT, once it's launched in the Philippines, later it will go all around the world. So guys, this is Energy 2.0. Take the opportunity. And by the way, who here you already put up your... You want to own an MGUT by show of hands. You want to own it. So how many sales do we have here already? More than 20 sales. What, why am I asking this question? If today you have seen me doing this demo and all of you say you want to buy, can you imagine you start doing it to people out there? Yes. The same demo. By the way, do you think I've been doing this demo for a long time? No, just a couple months. But it's about learning it, having confidence, and spread it. All right? So, gentlemen, thank you so much uh, 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 for this. <laughs>